The topic of this video is solving systems of linear equations using substitution or elimination. All right, here's our problem. x plus y equals 8, x minus y equals 2. Now, in previous videos, we've shown that if you want to use the substitution method, you need to identify a coefficient of 1 or negative 1 for one of your x or y terms. And if you want to use the elimination method, you should try to create term opposites. Well, here's a problem that has both of those characteristics. So how do we know which method we should use for this problem? Well, we kind of don't. You could use either one. Which one do you think would be faster, easier, and better? I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about it. Think about the steps you would go through for substitution and the steps that you would go through for elimination. Which method do you think would be easier, faster, better for this problem? All right, have you come up with your opinion? Let's find out. Let's use both methods to solve this problem. First, elimination. So we can see that we already have opposites for our y terms. So if we simply add our two equations together, we'll get 2x plus 0 equals 10, 2x equals 10, x equals 5. And now if we want to find what y is, we just have to pick one of these equations to plug into. I'll pick the top one since it doesn't have any negatives in it. All right, the top one says x plus y equals 8. So I'm going to replace the x with the value 5 that we found before, and I get 5 plus y equals 8. Subtracting 5 on both sides, y equals 3. So I get the ordered pair 5 comma 3. All right, now we'll use the elimination method. Any one of these variables could be solved for, but I recommend solving for one that has a positive coefficient if you ever have a choice. So let's go ahead and use this bottom equation and try to solve it for x, since this x has a positive 1 for its coefficient. Move the y to the other side, and you get x equals 2 plus y. Now remember, this is equation 2 that we're dealing with. So when we substitute, we now substitute into equation 1. Equation 1 said x plus y equals 8. So this will go here. So we get 2 plus y plus y equals 8. Moving the 2 to the other side, y plus y equals 8 minus 2. 2y equals 6, y equals 3. So far, so good. Now we have to find somewhere to plug into. Well, we know y. What we don't know is x. So let's plug into here and see what we discover. x is equal to 2 plus y. y is 3. So we get x is equal to 2 plus 3, which is 5. And we get the ordered pair 5 comma 3. Same answer using two completely different methods which gives me confidence that the answer is correct. So, which method is better? That's for you to decide. 